Hey, Hakon. Are you there? Aiden, buddy. Good you're alive. Yeah? I got caught and questioned. Good. They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. You must help us. Otherwise, there will be a rebellion. Help us in the investigation. We'll help you with the bandits. I told you already. Nobody in the bazaar had anything to do with Lucas's death. Then why won't you let us search your homes, huh? If everyone is so innocent, then there'd be nothing to hide. Keep your brutes away from our homes, Anderson. So you're hiding someone. Time is running out, Carl. If you don't hand over the killer, we'll raise your precious bazaar to the ground. Sow the wind and reap the whirlwind, Anderson. Don't bite off more than you can chew, old man. Aiden, come on. I'm on the roof next to the metro. So, what did they want from you? Ader said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. And he believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. What's his name? Hubert Carbatos, also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch. Hey, you Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. W wait, I just want to buy something. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently had an urgent appointment with another customer. Yeah, sure. Hakon, he's running away. Nah, sounds like Hubie. Oh, wait a sec. Uh, I see him. Arsenal's running to the northeast. that rooftop, Aiden. Find him. Don't hurt me. I don't know anything. About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear. I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? A fence? No way. A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. And don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. Know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> that weapon is way too hot. Why did you run away from me? Because every five minutes, someone's coming after me, man. Okay, I may have given people a reason to be mad, but I'll make things right. Soon. Eventually. Maybe. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on, everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. 
If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. Yeah, but someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. Client confidentiality. Well, stop fucking around. Tell me or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. Hey, hack on. Hubert said someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know Amaya? No. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. There are some barracks there the army set up in 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlook them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro. Hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. Hold on, you were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass who's he what's it over? Are you nuts? The Hoosie What's-It's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. All right. Nobody wanted to buy him anyway. Cut myself on him, too.
Hey, hack on. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay. Ah, oh, the Pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? Uh, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. I did what she wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Ader, I have to get to the center, get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Got it. I'll head out right now. Ader wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. Oh, figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. Sophie. His right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see.
We were born smelly, and we'll die smelly. The essence of survival? What are you talking about? Want to find out? Just close your eyes. No way. One of you might uh, stab me, for all I know. You bet she would. Oh, stop it, Diane. Oh! That can't be good! Hey, Pilgrim. What the fuck Try is the that? pumpkin jam. It's divine. What's going on? Something's going down. What is all that anyway? Something's off about that. Must have been seeing ghosts. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the Pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you then? A sheep. I'm no threat to you. That's exactly what a wolf would say. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? I need to ask her about Lucas's death. Oh. Why would a pilgrim care about PK business? What's in it for you? But let's say a man's death should be another man's concern. Isn't that what separates us from the infected? I guess you have a point. Lucas's death is our concern as well. But mainly because we are the prime suspects. I have never hidden my views on the peacekeepers. The old world fell because of people like them. Greedy, power-hungry fascists. Of course, according to the PK, such claims automatically make me, and all of us, potential killers. So the sooner Lucas's murderer is found, the better for us. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll see you around, Carl. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. Wait. <sighs> Take this. A little sweetness for the circus. Mom, don't you know who that is? He's a pilgrim. He's no criminal, Benny. Look at him. In his eyes. 
Do you see what I see? We must judge people with our own hearts and eyes, and not based on rumor or innuendo. Thanks. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. Oh. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job, first and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. Understood. I'll go report to them. <laughs> Don't keep them waiting. <laughs>